Hello everyone, we'd like to thank you for tuning in here on ONN as we interrupt your regularly scheduled content with breaking news. Optimus City Police have surrounded a house in the 1400th block of Slayton Boulevard after an anonymous tip had reported to officials of a street gang called the Call of Duty Community had been planning to wreak havoc. Insider believed to be at least three higher ups of the gang alongside several lower ranked bandits. We're being told the police are planning to breach the perimeter in the hours coming. However, the police chief could not confirm that. Anyone with information on this group is advised to contact the OCPD immediately, and all residents nearby are being told to shelter in place. We have a reporter en route to the scene, and we'll keep you updated as things unfold. And now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. You guys know that I've had a soft spot for Call of Duty, or, well, a shrinking soft spot for Call of Duty, and have had one for many years now. I grew up playing this video game series, and the direction it took over the past few years was a bad one. At one point, I even had a strictly Call of Duty channel. However, I'm excited for World War II. What I'm not excited about is that the Call of Duty community is overrun by absolute con artists, thieves, liars, and manipulators. In this multi-part documentary series, we'll be looking at many of the front runners in the Call of Duty community, and we'll be digging deep into why they are the way they are. Throughout my years of practice in the field of Codology, I've noticed many trends that a lot of these major channels follow, ones that will be ultimately revealed here in this series. We will go into the past of these people, we will expose their hypocrisies, and in the end, we'll show who they really are and what their only intentions seem to be. Before advancing with episode 1, let's go ahead and clear some things up here. I used to be like these scumbags. Anytime a new piece of information fell through the slimy tubes of Activision and down onto our starved Call of Duty plates, I gobbled it up with content. I at one point averaged a whopping 60 views making content like this. So, our first episode here is going to focus on one believed leader of this entire street gang as the ONN aka Fake News is calling it, and that is I Tank It. The amount of hypocrisy that I Tank It he has shown throughout several of his videos is hilarious. He can't keep a story straight on anything, it's incredible. For instance here, he makes a video called The Ray Gun and PPSH and Supply Drops get the fuck out which is a video about false information spreading around the call of duty community when it comes to dlc weapons not that bad right seems like it's a somewhat noble video well the best part about the entire thing is not only does he admit to falling for it once which you know shows he doesn't do his research that well his entire platform of content is based on fake thumbnails and clickbait titles which is exactly what he tries to discredit in his own video if you're gonna say that people making videos about fake rumors is shady, then how shady is it to make clearly fake thumbnails constantly for your videos, where you'll act like you've gotten three weapons in a single supply drop, and to constantly falsify your reactions in your videos? How shady is it that you're doing monthly giveaways, where people have to like your video, subscribe, and comment, knowing that there is no way for you to track all three of those things? You're key. You can't talk about shady at all. So we're now gonna watch one of the worst examples of this he's ever created. He made a video on the black market blackout last year in April voicing his opinion and manages to not only make himself look stupid, but he also makes sure to contradict himself the entire time. I just want to give some backstory here before we go ahead and watch this. The black market blackout was and still is probably a movement in the Call of Duty community where people said they were not going to buy supply drops from Activision because they felt that it's starting to ruin the game. I was part of this movement, so lots of people are still calling for it. But now we're going to go ahead and watch the video and see what I tank it thinks about it. The, the movement itself is smart. It's just a perfect example. It is just like feminism. Feminism people, like the real movement, equality for both genders, that's amazing. Everyone is for that. There's very few people, maybe 1-2% to 2 of the people on earth don't want that. Everyone else is down for it. But it's the select few of radicals that fucking blow it up and they, they turn feminism into a whole other thing where it degrades men and it, it amplifies women. Perfect example. So, you're comparing a movement in a video game about microtransactions to modern day feminism and you're telling me that that's a perfect example. This is by far the biggest false equivalence that I've ever seen in my life. Modern day feminism, while being blatantly different than what it claims to stand for, has no similarities to voluntarily restricting yourself from buying Call of Duty points. To even try and compare the two is absolutely absurd and stupid. 
it's not for the developers i don't care where the money goes if, it, if it, they spend it on you know running their business or going out for lunch i just want to get what i want in the game i want a new gun so i can post it for you guys so attacking youtubers makes no sense it is the equivalent of going and attacking uh, a professional athlete because you don't like the the ticket prices of their team you oh i want to go watch stephen curry i want to go watch lebron james i want to go watch Sidney crosby oh but your team ticket prices are too high Fuck you i'm not gonna go watch your games i'm not gonna support you okay he next goes on a tangent and basically says that youtube content creators have no real say in the price of supply drops and he fails to realize that this is not what the movement even stated the supporters of this issue went after these content creators like i tanked because all they do is sit there and spend 500 dollars per episode of them opening supply drops feeding a corporate cash machine which in turn inspires tens of thousands of those viewers to go drop $20 on supply drops, meaning that while Activision is making billions of dollars off of a in-game lotto machine where you have less than a 1% chance most of the time of getting any item you may want, 80% or more of the players in the game never end up getting anything that they want, but of course because their favorite YouTuber got it, they think they have a chance. It also doesn't help that in all of your videos, you equate one like to one DLC weapon into your next supply drop, way to get the kiddies hopes up to boost your ratings. He really just said the reason that people watch professional sports is because they can't go play in the arena whenever they want. People watch people like LeBron James drop 30 points per game in the best basketball league on the planet at their highest level in their entire lives during basketball because they can't fucking jump 30 inches in the air and slam dunk a basketball on a bag of muscle like Hassan Whiteside or Andre Drummond. Not because they don't have access to an arena. There's a basketball court less than a quarter mile from my house. But guess what? I can't dunk. I'm not very good. Therefore, I watch the NBA so I can watch professionals play. You're basically equating at that point that people watch YouTubers play with the new Call of Duty weapons and open supply drops because they can't just go open a supply drop after 10 crypto keys in-game and hopefully get lucky enough to drop that weapon they want. They don't have access, so they watch YouTubers because they do have that access. Your points make no fucking sense. So commenting black market blackout and oh you're a scum why are you supporting this at the end of the day we can't control it and we do it for you no one on youtube is is telling you you have to buy supply drops you have to buy cod points you want new stuff because the game does get dull and it gets boring at times so we want new things to play with in the game uh, or at least the majority i wouldn't say the majority uh, i would say 20 percent, 30 40 i would say actually you know what i would say 50 percent of the people watching this video are completely brainwashed by other big youtubers telling them what to do you need to open your mind you need to have a brain for your fucking self because it's getting ridiculous this community is going downhill you then go on to claim that up to 50 percent of these viewers are brainwashed by other big youtubers telling them what to do so um tanken does that defeat the point you just made earlier when you said that those same big youtubers depend on the income they make off supply drop opening videos if they're all apparently brainwashing half the community why are you supporting this why are you buying weapons or why are you buying supply drops why are you buying cop points you guys need to understand it is our job the majority of the people you are watching on youtube that buy cop points that spend the money they earned through working whether it's on youtube or with another job or you know christmas money birthday money whatever however they acquired some money to buy some cod points it is our duty or are you just full of shit so you go and say that the call of duty community is going downhill slowly i don't blame you because i feel the same way but you inadvertently try and blame it on the people who don't want supply drops who are clearly leading to the decline in fans and activity when you combine it with three straight exo games in an era nobody wanted to play in yep it's got to be the blackouts fault that the franchise was in shit puddles until world war ii came along for you money out of our pockets for your entertainment that that is so mindless that's that there's no rational logic to that because if the community is speaking out against something they don't like in an effort to change that, that isn't mindless at all. That's active participation. That's what people with brains are supposed to do. The developers and folks at Activision probably think you're brainless because dumbasses like you dump a thousand dollars into supply drops each video. They're going out of your out of their way financially, uh, like based around time. Like we're spending a lot of time editing these videos. 
and we're going through all these things for your entertainment. So why are you hating on us? Makes no sense. But like I said, and newsflash, Tanked, just because the community doesn't want something, and that something is the sole reason that people like you have an income, that's not a bad thing at all. That's how capitalist societies work. The customer and the consumer gets to make the decision. It's nobody's fault but your own if your only basis of income on your channel is being destroyed by a movement because you decided to set it up that way. That's nobody else's fault but your own. If you only based your channel on something that had a movement wanting to destroy it, you messed up. You hear that guys? It's mindless that you've decided you've had enough of a product that he openly advertises because you're going to cost him some of his YouTube earnings. Uh... You obviously make more than what you put into supply drops, so quit complaining about it. It's like a truck driver going into the Walmart he delivered goods to and denouncing a group of people who don't want to buy the products he just drove because he had to fill up the tank in the big rig three times. Who gives a shit? We all deal with expenses in our lives. You're not going out of your way to do anything. This has now become your career. You're earning your primary income through this practice. Therefore, you guys were never going out of your guys' way for anyone's entertainment. It is your job. That person working at McDonald's who, you know, barely makes enough to keep themselves afloat regardless of what age they are, right? Who would love to be in the position you're in is not going out of your way by flipping you a hamburger and turning it into a Big Mac when it's their job to do so. We all spend time editing our videos and cover some expenses, whether it's internet or you're buying new things for your videos, or if you're like me, buying new microphones and nearly paying for art, all kinds of stuff like that. We all cover things like that. And it doesn't mean that I'm going out of my way for my fans because I have a passion for content creation that just so happens to pay the bills that I have and gives me some spending money on top of that. You do realize that the reason your videos and this type of video is so successful is because of the novelty of what you're opening, right? Okay, look at it this way. When only 5% of players in the game get that weapon, and only 1% of the total players are uploading content based around that, then you have a huge market of players to market that video to and go ahead to show that content to on YouTube. If you buff the odds up and now 50% of the players get it, and in turn now 10% of people are uploading content based around that weapon, you not only have more competition taking your views, but you have less of an advantage and audience to begin with. If anything, you should have been against the movement, which it seems like you were, though, through the entire video. However, it sounded like you were too afraid to say it, but that's logically the way you should have leaned. But any hate towards me, any stupid comments in the comments down below, you're just gonna get instantly blocked because I have no time for the nonsense and mindless sheep-like, I guess, approach to have this whole movement that I know so many people are gonna have on this video. So if you guys do comment it, be warned, you're probably not gonna be able to comment on the channel anymore like I, i'm just being straight up it's, it's a bit stupid just to think yeah you stupid sheep if you voice an opinion that i don't agree with on my channel you're getting blocked and anything you say will get blocked okay basically if you're not suckling at my tit and follow everything i say like it's your religion have fun being blocked because i don't have the tolerance to accept other viewpoints sheep basically i tell you guys not to do what others tell you to do as i try to tell you not to have a certain opinion and voice it on my videos and will block you from speaking if you do so because I feel like I am entitled to your ad money because for whatever reason, I feel as if I'm being a martyr by making this content even though I'm raking in profit and I'm having no hardships at all. Got it, Tanked. You're a fucking hypocrite. So we've covered the massive amounts of hypocrisy that he shows in his content. Now we'll go ahead and move on to the problems in his content. For whatever reason, he spams the same three messages and emojis throughout the video begging you to like the video or subscribe or whatever else he wants to promote, and it gets annoying really fast. You guys ever had a telemarketer call your phone about 10 times a day for the past 7 years? That's exactly what these little plops on the screen that come up, whoop, no, I like this video and whatnot, it's exactly what they begin to look like after a while. He has also decided that he can only play one song in all of his videos. It's the same exact song over and over again. I know Mike Korzemba uses it all the time too, but there's absolutely zero change. The topics of the video never switch. There is no changes. All it is is new DLC weapons, and once Black Ops 3 stops updating the game with those, he'll be forced to move on to the next game. But as of right now, all he will upload is Black Ops 3, 
which is nearly two years behind at this point. He refuses to change anything about his content. He will not freshen it up with new aspects. He will not introduce new topics. It's almost like he's stuck in the same bubble or if he's just got a template on his computer called an entire I tank it video where he just plops in clips here and there and a little bit of commentary. He harshly overreacts and has a habit of pricing DLC weapons very inaccurately. Anyone knows that if it took him $50 to get a new shotgun, it could have taken someone else $4,000. It's literally a lotto machine. He's also got a horrible habit of putting four to five mid-rolls per video, plus ads at the beginning and possibly the ends as well. There is absolutely no reason that an 11 minute long video should have anywhere from five to seven ads at all. At that point, you're not just making income or covering any of your expenses, you're just straight milking your viewers. Welcome back to ONN, your number one source for news. Tonight we've got a special report on the Call of Duty community street gang that is tearing the peace and quiet of Optimus City apart. It was formerly believed that their aggressive behavior was in order to gain notoriety through the primary video platform of YouTube, but police investigators have found new evidence suggesting that there is another motive to their vicious crimes. Money. A lead police investigator was quoted as saying this. Uh, these street gangs are doing this for money. The tactics they use, uh, same ones that tear Optimus City apart. They're the same ones that, uh, fatten their wallets. Um, as of right now, we know that, uh, one major headquarters is in the city that the gang holds over on Slayton Boulevard. The police have that home surrounded at the moment and are minutes away from a daring operation to invade the property. Moments ago, a reporter on the scene was told to evacuate the scene and take immediate shelter, which has been done now. We will have an on-scene report soon. You can tell the main motive behind I Tankid's videos are profit. I mean, if it weren't, why did he throw such a fit about people not liking the product that he advertises? which in turn generates some revenue. Why does he put five ads in every video he does? And that doesn't even include the ends and the beginnings. Why are all of his videos past 10 minutes? Wait a minute. It, it couldn't be true. Could, could? Hello folks, thank you for tuning in once again. We've got breaking news once again here on Optimus News Network here as police have finally pushed their way into the Call of Duty Community Street Gang hideout on Slayton Boulevard. Several arrests have been made, a daring plan has been discovered, and police have given us this audio tape. OCPD, everyone hands in the air. Hands in the air. I said hands where we can see them now. You will be shot. All right, dispatch, we got a 127. We're going to need backup immediately. Copy that, all units. Officer Rodriguez, check the computer. The computer's on. Check it. Okay, uh, let me get to the documents. Uh, all right, let me get to the documents. Hold on. Um, going as fast as I can, okay? Listen, it'll be all right. Uh, it's called Plans. Read it. Read it. Read Holy it. shit, let me read it. Let me read that. Open it, Rodriguez. Alright, wow. Two other suspects, uh, T. Martin and uh, ProGamerJ. Do we have anything of the records? What you just heard was audio captured from a Call of Duty Community Street Gang headquarters on Slayton Avenue, which was the target of a police raid earlier this morning. Police have apprehended multiple street toughs, but believe they nabbed the notorious outlaw I tanked who is one of the leaders of the gang. Police also have uncovered a file on a computer hard drive with plans for the gang to expand and continue their operations going forward, which mentions two other believed leaders named T. Martin and the Pro Gamer J. Police are expected to have more details on these leaders in the coming days. Until the 5 o'clock news tonight, folks, we'd like to thank you for tuning into Optimus News Network here. Subscribe to our channel if you're new, like this video, and make sure to tell us what you think down below. And until next time, guys. This is Optimus, signing out.